Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Call him into the space. What's his name? We honor you. What's his name? We will never forget. What's his name? We hold you. What's his name? Say his name. 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 What's his name? 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 Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Ashe. Give this family some more love. Yeah. It's important that I, I, I tell y'all, it's not easy for these families to come up and tell their story. And they get asked to tell their story over and over and over again. Imagine the worst pain, the worst thing that has ever happened to you in your entire life and telling that story over and over and over again. They do it because it is their sincerest hope that they will be the last family to tell this story. And that is why we are here this evening to bring into being a world where not another family has this story to tell. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Okay, I'm now going to bring up the tribe. That's what I call them. The tribe. The family of Shalim Tindall. He was murdered by the BART police outside of the West Oakland BART station. Cop ran across the street. Across the street. This man was with his companion and his babies. They ran across the street and shot him in the back three times with his hands up like this. I've been doing this work a long time. I ain't never met a family like this. They messed up here. From day one, from day one, they have been on the front lines demanding justice again, not only for Shaleen Tindall, but for all of us. All of us. Mama Yolanda, you want to lead the way? Everybody, y'all come up. We'll find a way to make everybody fit. Y'all show this family some love. Well, we're here 
to express ourselves that we are a family, that we'll be a clan, that we'll become a tribe, that is a part of the Hebrew nation. Because we are a part of the Hebrew nation, each and every one of you. He is a personification for males and females and bruises. We come in various colors. We give all praises to the ancient tetragrammaton, Yahweh Elohim. Yes. Of a mother soul cell fundamental principle only. I was telling the sister the other day, I said everything started with a single cell. That single cell was a mother cell that replicated itself into two daughter cell. So I know that God is not a man. Yeah. I know that God is not a man. Yeah. It even says it in your own Bible. But until we realize that it is the fertility, the life, the womb, yeah. even the womb, the matrix, as we lose our children, we have to come to an understanding that this loss is to bring us together. That it's not a loss only to the family, but it's a gain to those that you go out and help. You become a gain to those that need your help. You become assistance to those that want your help. We must teach each other, as they say, each one teach one. It's not a cliche. As they say, it takes a whole village to raise one child. It does take a whole village to raise one child. Help me raise mine, and I'll help you raise yours. My son was murdered January the 3rd, 2018. As Cat Brooks said, by a Bart police officer. I met with him in the room with my attorney, John Barris. He said, do you want him to be here? I said, I didn't know he was coming. They said, do you want him in the same room? I said, I want to sit at the same table. Not because I forgive him. An eye for an eye and a two for a two. I don't forgive when it comes to taking the lives of our children. I refuse to forgive taking the lives of our children. I asked him, how did you feel after murdering my son? I laid pictures down of when he was born, when he turned 13, child of accountability, child of responsibility. When he had his first child, his companion. Pictures of his life on vacation. Places I have taken him to. Places that he have communed with us in our Hebrew culture community. I said, how did you feel after taking my son's life? He said, it shouldn't have never happened. I looked at my lawyer, I said, what does this mean? It shouldn't have never happened. Yeah. He said, I have not been the same. And he did cry. But let me tell you, remorse without payment or penalty is not true remorse. Stop turning the other cheek. Yeah. What is wrong with our people? You take a Caucasian man's life or his children's life, or an Oriental. I don't care what ethnicity they are. They're going to fight you tooth and nail. You won't live. You won't stand. You won't be able to go to trial. But what do we do? We turn the other cheek. We bow down. And it's time for us to stop bowing down. Talking about we're going to serve them. The mothers are the carriers of life. Yes, they are. We are the keepers, the holders, the breath of life. Yes. We must do the work. Fathers must do the work. Yes. Daughters and sons and siblings must do the work. No one else is going to do it for us. But who came to my aid? My Hebrew culture community and family is always there. We march together, we stand together, we pray together, we eat together. But Cat Brooks and Uncle Bobby and Beatrice, they stood by my side. You know, I didn't say, well, I have my own group. Later for your own group. That's the problem. We have not unified together as one. We must unify together as one. And this is why I appreciate Cat Brooks for allowing me to speak. 
You know, when you have someone, and I don't brag about myself, but when you have someone to speak, you want the people to hear. Yeah. You want the people to understand. And that's why on my platform, whatever mother want to speak, I allow them. Yeah. I don't care how elegant or uneloquent yeah. that they can speak. Yeah. They are allowed up here that's right. to tell their story. Yeah. Yeah. I don't edit them out. No, you don't. No, no. you know, I don't get paid by anybody. No, I don't. No. So I'm able to say what I say and when I need to say it. Yeah. I love all those that love humanity. Yeah. Whether you black, white, or mulatto, I have no hate in me. That's right. But those that love humanity, you're going to love every race, creed, and religion. Yeah. Every culture, you're going to respect it. You're going to honor it. Yeah. So therefore, if you love humanity, then you love yourself. You know, I was working on a movie called Inhumane. I had just finished my trailer. That was a happy day for me. I had finished my trailer. I started posting my trailer and start getting hits. Then someone called me and said, it don't look good. That crushed me to my soul. And I'm still crushed, but in the midst of being crushed, I'm going to stand anyhow. And when I feel like I can't stand, I'm going to stand anyhow. Because that's all I know. And that's all I want to know. That's all I know. And I'm teaching my grandchildren. This is Charlene's son, Ima Roby. I'm teaching him and I'm teaching all my grandchildren that when I'm gone, Somebody got to stand, yeah. and you must teach them now. Yeah. We're going to do a prayer. I'm going to end it with a prayer. It's Eve prayer, which is the mother, the carry of life. The father wraps that life up, the keeper, the holder, the breath of life. It's called Eve. You can join in. If not, you can raise your head up because we do not bow our heads down. We hold our heads up. We've been bowing our heads down too long. It's time to lift up your heads. Oh, ye Hebrews, lift them up, ye everlasting Hebrews. And Yahweh Elohim of glory shall come in. Who is Yahweh Elohim of glory? Yahweh Elohim strong and mighty. Yahweh Elohim mighty in battle. E. M. N. N. B. C. O. R. B. A. R. A. K. A. Hebrews best. M. N. N. E. Thank you. Thank you very much.